Hi there, my name is Lisa Ellison and I am at Soul Yoga. We're gonna do some movement today to deal with some of our emotions and feelings. So we'll start seated on your mat. And you can sit in a comfortable cross-legged position or if you're more comfortable, you can extend your legs out or you can sit up on a cushion, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And as you settle in, you can decide to keep your eyes open or your eyes closed as we take a moment just to check in with your physical body. So you just notice, what's your mood? How does your body feel? What are the emotions or feelings that are moving inside of you? What are some of the thoughts that you're having today? And you don't have to do anything about any of it or change anything. You just get to feel and notice how you are. And we'll start with a breath called ocean breath. So it's uh, coordinating your movement and your breathing. So take your arms, make a big circle with them as you breathe in. And then turn your palms away from each other, exhale out your mouth. <sighs> Making the sound of the ocean. And again, breathe in, reach up. Turn your palms away, exhale out your mouth making the sound of the ocean. Do that one more time. Big breath in, sunshine breath. And ocean breath out. And then bring your hands back into your lap. And just notice how simple breathing can sometimes just create big shifts inside your body. You might have a sensation of your heart beating a little bit faster, or your mind feels a little bit clearer, or you have more energy. And just notice. And then we'll start with a warm up called sun salutations. So come onto your hands and knees. We call this tabletop position. And then from tabletop, you'll tuck your toes under and lift your hips up, coming into downward facing dog. And I always like to walk my hands and feet a little bit away from each other. I like a wider base here. In the downward dog, you can move your hips side to side like you're wagging your tail like a dog. Or bend the knee at a time, pedaling it out. And, oh, I feel a stretch in my legs and my calves. Sometimes I don't know really how my body feels until I get onto my yoga mat and start to notice how I feel. And then take a nice deep breath in. And again, you can let it out your mouth, just ah, letting go. And bring your feet to your hands, walking to the walk up your mat. And hold on to your elbows, it's called ragdoll, forward fold. There might be a lot of sensation in the backs of your legs here, that's okay. Just bend your knees, maybe shake your head around, yes or no. I always imagine thoughts that I don't want to have, just like falling out the top of my head, just letting go, anything that I don't want to hold on to. And release your hands down. Then tuck your chin to your chest, bend your knees, and slowly roll all the way up to stand. Good. And then from where you are, just take a big breath in, reach your arms up overhead, and float your arms down by your side into mountain pose. It's called Tadasana or mountain pose. It means just standing at attention. You can look down to your feet, maybe lift and spread, wiggle your toes around. And feel the strength of your legs, pull your shoulders back. Good, and we'll move through those sun salutations now. So from the front of your mat, face forward. So inhale, big reach up. Exhale, bow forward. And then find your shins, bring your hands to your shins, and lift up halfway until you have a flat back. Good, and then come back to tabletop. Come down onto your hands and knees. From tabletop, you'll take a breath in. As you breathe out, you'll lower your body all the way down onto the floor. And then point your toes behind you. Lift up into cobra or snake. Stretch and find the body, chest, and the shoulders. And then you'll press back to downward facing dog. We'll take three deep breaths in through the nose. 
out the mouth. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time, full breath in, empty it out, and then take a walk up to the front of your mat. Lift halfway up, bring your hands to your shins, find a flat back, and forward fold. Wow, drop your head, chin to chest, roll up to stand. Reach up for the sunshine, and bring your arms down by your sides, standing in mountain pose, imagining you're at the top of a mountain. Strong, patient, like a mountain. Let's do that again, sun salutation. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your hands to your shins, kind of flat back, lengthen out. And then tabletop, bring your hands and knees to the floor. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, lower your body all the way down. Point your toes, straighten your legs, lift the chest, cobra, open the chest, strengthen the back, and then press it back to downward facing dog. Lift your hips up, press your heels down. Take some full deep breaths, three breaths, in through the nose, out the mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Look forward and walk your feet up to your hands. Bring your hands to your shins, halfway left by the flat back. Exhale, bow forward. Tuck your chin, roll up to stand, stretch your fingers up to the ceiling, and then return to mountain pose. And just notice, how does your body feel? How are the movements of the, these poses affecting your physical body, your emotions? We'll do one more round of sun salutation. Big breath in, circle your arms up. Big breath out, fold yourself in half. Lift halfway up, inhale, hands to the shins, lengthen and flat back. Step it back, tabletop, bring to your hands and knees. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lower your body slowly to the ground. Point your toes, inhale, snake or cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take three breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Again, inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth. One more time, breathe in, breathe out, and begin to take a walk right up your mat. <laughs> Bring your hands to your shins, halfway lift, and exhale, bow forward. And then tuck your chin, roll up to stand, reach up to the ceiling, and return to mountain pose. Good, from here, we come into star pose. So you'll step your feet out nice and wide. You'll make your five pointed star. So one point, two point your legs, three points, four points your arms, your head is your fifth point of the star. Good, and then right here, you'll turn your right toes to 90 degrees to face the front of your mat. And keep your back leg straight and strong. And bend your right knee, coming into warrior pose. It's called warrior two or second warrior. And you look out over your front hand. Sit a little bit deeper. Breathing in and breathing out through your nose. And you can always adjust if you feel like your feet aren't in the right place. So I just went a little longer, a little wider, because I want to go deeper. I like that feeling of strength in my legs, my hips. I like feeling that strong sensation. And then not being afraid of it, feeling into the sensation, breathing, feeling my strength. Good, and then straighten your front leg, relax your arms. Then you'll switch sides, turn the right toes in, <clears throat> turn the left toes to point to the left. So pick your arms up, reach them out nice and strong, and then bend your left knee. You sink down into your hips, strong warrior. You can look out over your left hand, Maybe you look at your hand 
go right past it. Keep your eyes focused on one thing. Noticing your breath moving in and moving out of your body. You can take it a little deeper. Good job. And then straighten your left leg, relax your arms. Turn your left toes in, turn your right toes out. This time you'll bring your hands to your hips and then you're gonna tip them. So you press your hips to the left, so away from you, and then reach your right hand down to your shin or your ankle and take your left arm up. It's called triangle. Good, and you can look straight ahead. Maybe you turn and look up to your top hand. Get connected and grounded to your feet and notice how your body feels here. Notice the sensations in your physical body. Notice your breath moving in and moving out. Just moving your energy, moving things through you. Good, and then let the top hand, the strength, pull you up. Good work, hands to your hips. Turn your right toes in, turn the left toes out. And then press your hips to the right, you tip in. And then it's called tick-tock arms. <laughs> right arm down, or left arm down, right arm up. Open up across the chest. Breathing, breathing in, breathing out. And sometimes your body makes adjustments. My hip just made a popping sound, my body's adjusting, moving into a new space. Good work, and then let that top hand pull you up to stand. Bring your feet back to parallel, hands to your hips. Then you'll bend your knees and just pop your feet back together. Good job. And just take a little twist from side to side. Let your arms relax. You come to center, take your shoulders up, let them drop. Take them up, let them drop. Up and drop. Shake out your hands. Good. And we're going to come into tree pose. So press down into your left foot. Lift your right foot. Bring it to the inner left leg. I'm going to become a tree like the trees on the wall behind me. Bring your hands together. Just imagine that you have roots going deep into the earth. And you're lifting up towards the sunshine. You can even take your arms out like the branches of your tree. <clears throat> I always like to look up, looking to where I'm growing, looking to where I'm headed. So if I can lift even higher, if I look up, can I reach up an inch higher? And then bring your arms down by your sides, bring both feet back to the floor. And you'll switch sides. You'll press down into your right foot, bring your left foot up, place it somewhere on the inner uh, right thigh or calf, and you find your center. Bring your hands together and press. Press your hands together. Press your foot into your leg. Notice how you feel standing on one leg. And you get rooted and quiet inside. And you reach up from the ground. You lift up. You press down to go higher. And maybe look up. Maybe you take your eyes up, reaching towards a cloud or a star or the sun, whatever, a bird. Just imagine that you can lift up even higher just because you want to, that intention, go higher. And then bring both feet back to the floor and into mountain pose. Now the next pose will be a challenge pose. It's called chair. And just like the name of the pose, you wanna sit down like you're sitting in a tiny chair, like you're back in your classroom. And then reach your arms up, your arms by your ears. You sit into your chair. I like to lift and wiggle my toes. Just feeling the shaking in my legs. Breath moving through you. If you need to come out of it, you can come out, but then come right back in. It's okay to lift up, take a pause, 
and then come right back into the pose again. Maybe you even go a little deeper. If you can take it a little deeper. <laughs> Good, and then see if you can sit all the way down onto your mat. And coming back to your first position. It's crisscross apples. From here, we're gonna take a twist. It's called pretzel pose. So you'll bring your right hand behind you. Take your left arm, reach it up high, and then cross the left hand over to the right knee. And you twist your body to the right. You can even look back over the right shoulder if you like. Lift up as you breathe in. You twist a little farther as you breathe out. And then slowly and gently unwind, come back to center. And then we'll switch sides. So you take your left hand behind you, take your right arm up, get really tall, and then twist and hold on to the right left leg with your right hand. You inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, gently twist and turn and look over your back shoulder. Look where you're headed. I love the twist. It's like rinsing out. Anything that's stuck in my body or stagnant, if I'm feeling tired or fatigued, grumpy or annoyed. Twists really help me kind of move that stuff out of my body. So movement can help you shift and change your emotions. Move from one thing to the next and make space for something new. Good, and then slowly and gently come back to center. And from right here, you'll take your legs and stretch them out in front of you. And take a pose called fish pose. It opens up the chest. So you come down onto your forearms. Bring your forearms to the floor behind you. And your feet can be either flexed or pointed, but legs strong. And then lift the chest up. Drop the head back. Look to the wall behind you. So your head is just off the ground, dangling. Opening up your throat. Opening up the space in your chest. Strengthening the muscles in the back of the body. Yeah, look behind you. What do you see? See something in your space. And then gently lower all the way down onto the mat, your back. You wiggle your body around. And you're going to stay right here. Pose called Shavasana. I'll bring you up out of it in a few moments. It's an opportunity to be still. Letting your body get quiet, letting your mind get quiet, and your breath slow down. And then begin to move your fingers and wiggle your toes. Take your arms overhead, stretch your body. Draw your right knee into your chest, give it a squeeze. 
And then stretch your body, reach overhead, stretch your legs out, switch sides, left knee draws in, squeeze, do that again, stretch up long, and then draw the right knee in, stretch your body long, draw the left knee in. One more each side, reach long, as long as you can. Draw the right knee in, squeeze it, reach long. And then left knee in, and then both knees in. And you'll rock up and down along the spine, tuck your chin, rock back and forth. Two, one more time. Three, come on up to your cross-legged position. Place one hand over your chest, one hand over your belly. Just acknowledging your body, your feelings. Acknowledging yourself. And if you come up with one statement, an I am statement, I am happy, I am joyful, I am peaceful, I am content. I am enough. Whatever it is. And say it to yourself over and over again today. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. Namaste. Till next time.